I'm Benny Turner and I'm studying for the MA in Innovation and Sound at DBS. So for the main part I've been focusing on researching multi-sensory environments within the context of working with um, community music therapy. So I, I co-run an organisation back in Peterborough that delivers music, inclusive music workshops for people, mainly for people with complex needs um, and disabilities. So it's really just been about trying to look at ways to enhance what we can offer to people um, and I've been focusing on using low cost adaptive music technologies to, to make that happen. So some of the low cost adaptive technologies we've been using have been the Arduino and the uh, Adafruit Hazar32 which is kind of like a wireless version of the Arduino. I've been developing something called the React Turtle which is like a, a hands-free kind of music controller using, using, it first started using the Arduino and then I started using the Hazar32 to make it wireless. I think yeah, uh, DBS have discovered Max really and I think that's really helped me to um, like explore these things further. What inspired me to, to start the project I think it was just, just the fact that I'm already working in the field of community music and music therapy and we do a lot of work with special needs schools and, and other settings, similar settings. And I think just seeing that the sensory spaces they have there cost so much money to, to, to install and to maintain specifically um, that I just wanted to look at ways that I could kind of overcome some of those barriers one of the schools that we went to visit, which was in featured in my film, I think they spent about forty thousand pounds on their sensory space, and the lady that I was speaking to, the practitioner, told me that it costs around ten to twelve thousand pounds a year just to update things or to maintain things. So I just f felt like actually that's that's not right. So <laughs> just wanted to look at ways that we could kind of make things a bit more. Cheap, cheaper to, um, to to build, to install, to maintain, and I think the holy grail is to try and make things more sustainable. But um, I don't know if that's possible with the way that technology works these days and the whole kind of obsolescence, the issue of obsolescence and you know repairing, re-updating things. I'm not sure if that's any something we can escape, but we're working on it. The differences I'm seeing in, in some people as they use the devices or they use the room, I think one of the main things is, is just seeing how curious people are, are, are becoming. There's definitely an increased expression or want to express themselves. One of the young, young chaps that came, um, Austin, was really lost in kind of movement and dance and he was, he was really interacting with the lights and the sound. And, just seeing that was really, really quite powerful, actually. Uh, but I think, yeah, cu the curiosity that people um, are exhibiting is, is really interesting, enjoyable to watch. And just the fact that people seem to want to be creative in the space and with the turtle. I, th I just think music and sound is important for, for everyone. And, um, you know, we, we just see that on a day-to-day -day basis working with people with specific needs and disabilities. We just see, you know, firsthand, like an instant reaction, whether it be positive or negative. On the most part, part it's positive, but it does something. It, it, it really does actually transform lives. And um, so, Whatever the project is, um, we're, we're all seeing like positive changes in people. The future of the reactive room and the react turtle is to keep keep developing it further. There's you know there are there, it's it's still kind of in a prototype phase. It's it's more advanced now, but there are still some niggles to iron out. We've got some funding from the Arts Council um, and for from Music for All. Um, so we're still we're still we've got about 10 months left to kind of spend that money and use that money to develop the project further. So we intend to buy a projector for one and some other things um, and just kind of refine everything. This thing is about a continuation of work 
um, and, and a partnership with, with schools, um, special educational schools that want to come to the centre. We see it as being like a regional hub for, for sensory music activities.